Hi everybody, I'm Sandy Sandler, the creator of the Bodabra, and here we are with our No So Hair Bow, the Easy Hair Bow um, Live. So I wanna thank all you guys who commented on the preview that I did, and also thank you so much for being here. So we're gonna start with the same bow I made in the preview. And I took, I should think I'd remember this, but I don't. I have 11 inches, of each of these two ribbons and I'm gonna take some oh boy starting off with the bang take some bow dabber bow wire fold it in half and lay this down into the bow dabber and just tuck it underneath so it stays out of Maria way. says hello Sandy hi Maria how are you thank you for commenting I didn't get a chance to respond yet but thanks for um, commenting on my live just a little while ago so now I'm gonna layer my two together and I'm gonna keep this, um, this ribbon in the center of the burlap ribbon. And I'm going to do what we call a mountain up right here. Jeannie says, just, hi Sandy, hi, and Jean. Sharon. And who else? She shared it. Oh, thank you so much for sharing, Jeannie. I love when you guys share. It means so much to me. So now, and if you know anybody that wants to learn how to make super simple hair bows, with the Bodabra, then please share this. So I tuck that there. Now I'm gonna to go to the center and I'm gonna again do my little mountain up and scrunch this into my mini Bodabra. And um, let's scrunch that down. And just sort of shape it while it's still in my Bodabra. And for those of you that aren't familiar with the Bodabra, there's little springs underneath here, and that's what's holding my ribbon in place. So now I'm gonna take these three little um, roses, lay those down into my Bodabra, and I'm gonna just scrunch it down one more time for good measure. And I'm gonna pull this through. And we don't have anybody online today that's commenting for Bodabra. So those of you that have watched me regularly, I would really appreciate if anybody asks any questions, if you might be able to help them out. So I'm just gonna tie this here and I'm gonna knot it. And then what I can do is take a um, bobby pin and I would suggest just, you can bring your wire through it so you want to put the front of the bobby pin, whoops. Angie says hi. Hi Angie, how are you? I know I responded to um, your post from last week. And also you guys, um, so then now I'm just gonna tie this under here um, and tie a knot just to hold it here and bring that basically through to about here. And then what I will do is I'll clip my ends and I would suggest that you get um, a glue gun and just glue this here just really tightly. And then I'll shape this out here. Michelle says hello. Oh, hi, Michelle. Thank you guys so much for joining in and for saying hi. And I really appreciate, like last week, a whole bunch of people wrote replay so that I knew that they were watching the replay. So there you have it. Just simple, super simple bow to make. And I mean, hair bows are so easy in the Bodabra. And that's what I love about it because there's no sewing. I mean, there's gluing if you wanna glue it onto a clip. But besides that, you can't get much simpler. So now we're gonna make a cute little pinwheel bow. Um, and if you don't have the Bodabra app, make sure you go to your app store, it's free, and download it. So I'll fold this in half and tuck the ends underneath. And now what I'm gonna do on the pinwheel bow, I'm, I'm gonna find the center of my ribbon and then I'm gonna just put this upside down into my, bow, my mini Bodabra. And then I'm going to bring this ribbon around here and just tuck that in. And then I'm gonna take the ribbon that's underneath and I'm gonna make an X and bring this back over and just do my little mountain up and tuck that in. Then I'm gonna take the bottom ribbon and scrunch that 
and take the top and do again my mountain up and scrunch that in. So now I have my pinwheel bow so there's no tails. Then I'm gonna take my Bodaver bow wire, pull it through my slip knot, hold my bow while I pull the wire really tight, pull it out, separate the ends, and bring it around to the back, and I'm just gonna tie a knot. Michelle says I use both of your bow dappers all the time. Thank you, Michelle. I love that. Now, have you guys joined the Bodabra Fan Gallery? You can just look for the Bodabra Fan Gallery and join up and share your beautiful bows with us. And then now I have, I need a glue dot here. And I'm just going to, whoopsie daisy, and bring this around here. Put my glue dot there and put that there. And then I'm going to um, glue my clip on. And I just cheated with the glue dot, but I would use a glue gun so it stays. And then I'm just gonna shape my little hair bow. And how cute is that? Whoops, let me put that right side up. Isn't that fun and super, super simple? So please, if you know anybody who's spending a fortune making hair bows for their little girls, or their granddaughters, make sure you share this with them so they can see how simple it really can be. So now we're gonna go on to our next bow. And this one I really like because it's kind of, it's cute for a little girl. It's also great with a princess costume or even for a, um, a flower girl. The problem with live is it, I get kind of tongue tied sometimes. So this time I'm gonna take my bow dabra wire, my silver wire, and fold it in half. Maria and... says love it. Thank you, Maria, I appreciate that. So I'm folding it in half and laying it down into my bow dabra. Or mini, actually, you know what? We're gonna do this in the big bow dabra, which means I'm probably gonna need a little bit more wire. So. Victor and Margie are saying hello. Hi, how are you guys? And where are you guys watching from? So now I'm gonna fold this in half and lay this down into the Bodabra. Oh, and you know what's so exciting? Next week on Monday, I'm actually gonna be in Colorado and Vivian and I are gonna be coming, and Michael, <laughs> to you from Vail, Colorado. So it'll be a little bit different setup, but it should be really fun. So now I'm just gonna go at a diagonal and stick my headband into my Bodabra. Then I'm gonna take my tool, and let me let you know how much tool I have. Just Angie's so that... from Florida, Victor and March is from Stockton, Texas, Maria is from Delaware. Oh wow! Now Andy, you're a friend of Crystal's, am I correct, of Crystal Jewels? Because I've noticed you comment on her stuff. It's 27 Maria inches. Maria is New York. Oh wow, we're in New York, Maria. So this is six inches wide and 27 inches long. So I'm just going to scrunch this tool in here. And then I'm gonna take my piece of, this is sort of like a webbed, I really like this. It's kind of a webbed ribbon and it's got nice little sparkles. And I've got about, and it's wired, which helps it shape. So I have about 19 inches and I've got about five and a half inch or five, is that five and a half or five? Five and a half inches wide. So now all I'm gonna do is again, just scrunch it into and my- And she says, yes, we worked together years ago. Oh, wow, cool. She's so creative, isn't she, Angie? Maria's uh, from the Bronx. Oh, okay. Um, what am I looking And Michelle for? is Plant City, Florida. Now where is Plant, I know where the Bronx is, but I don't know where Plant City, Florida is. So now, um, oh, I don't need to worry about that. I'm gonna just take this silver and I'm just gonna do a twist. And I'm gonna fold it back and I'm gonna twist it. And I want, the reason that I'm twisting, for those of you that might not be familiar, is on the inside, I want the wrong side of my ribbon on the inside of my loop. I'm gonna fold it back, twist it, and fold it back here. And now I'm gonna just scrunch everything down. And I'm going to just lay this one more pretty silver mesh. It's our rhinestone mesh that we sell in our store. 
And then now I'm just gonna pull this through the slip knot, hold my bow really tight while it's still in the bow dabra. Michelle said between Tampa and Orlando. Oh, okay, I know right where that is. Pull it out, separate the ends. In fact, I've probably driven past it. And tie knot. And now is anybody watching who's new tonight and has never um, seen my lives before? Please let me know. And so here, we're just gonna shape this out. And I'll shape my little loops here and here. And have my things going there. And isn't that adorable? And so super, super simple. I mean, we've already made, what, three bows in like, I don't know, in like 10 minutes, that's pretty cool. I'm proud of myself. So now we're gonna go on to the next one. So I hope you guys are sending me love. Michael, are we getting loves and likes? Yeah. Okay, cool. Cause that means so much to me. The most love is when you share and then the next is when you likes and loves. So thank you, you guys, I really appreciate it. We're gonna put this over here and now we're going to take our mini Bodabra let me clean up my desk a little bit. Any of you crafters know that, that just, no matter what we do, it never stays clean and neat. Maria says love it. Jeannie says so super cute. Thank you. I missed one of them. <laughs> oh, well, you guys know I always come back and respond. It might take me a couple days and I'm gonna be driving up to Colorado and you know, so I'm gonna be busy for the next few days. So I, but I promise before the next Facebook Live, I'll respond to all of the comments. Marie says perfect for her granddaughters. Oh, awesome, Marie. So here's 20 inches and it is a one and a half inch wide ribbon. It's a, I'm using a grow grain here and I'm just gonna take some of my silver bow dabber bow wire, fold it in half and I'm gonna tuck this and we're gonna make this cute little headband. Um, tuck it into my mini bow dabber. Whoops, doesn't wanna tuck under this time. There we go. And now I'm gonna fold my um, grow grain in half and I think that's the wrong side. So put this down with the wrong side down. I'm gonna fold it back and again, we're gonna do our pinwheel bow and then we're gonna go right in the center. Oh no, we're not gonna do that yet. I have to do an X and then come in under here and now do the same little mountain up there and scrunch that down. Then I'm gonna bring my bottom ribbon over and scrunch that with my little mountain and do the exact same thing here with this, with the, the loop that was the X that we formed. Then I'm going to take my mini wand, yeah, my mini wand, which I don't know where it disappeared to, but I had it a minute ago. Oh goodness, oh well. I guess I'm not gonna take my mini wand. And let's see if the Bodabra one fits in here. Yep, it does. Okay, so scrunch that down. And then I'm gonna lay my little corker ribbon. Now, anybody that's interested- Terry says love that. Oh, thank you, Terry. And scrunch this. Now, did Terry tell us where she was from? Well, I would love to know where you're watching from. And again, if anybody's new tonight, please let me know. And I'm lazy, so I just buy the corker ribbon online. So already made, so I don't have to make it. So if anybody is interested, please let me know. But let me know that you need to have the link for the corker ribbon. And because otherwise, when I, if you're watching um, the replay, or if I go back, I don't know what link it is that you want, but I definitely will put the corker ribbon link up for you. So scrunch this through. And again, if you are watching the replay, and now I'm gonna bring this around to the back, isn't that cute? And I'm going to tie a knot. Um, and again, if you are watching the replay, please let me know, because I wanna make sure that I say hi to you and respond to your comments as well. Peggy says hello. Who is that? I'm sorry. Peggy. Peggy. Hi, Peggy. How are you? So now what I'm going to do is just bring this around here 
and I'm actually going to bring it back underneath um, the headband so that I tie it so it won't be against the head. And tie another knot here. And I'm going to just clip this. Oh, we're also, you guys, just sort of a heads up. On Gail says love. I'm late to the party. Oh, hi, Gail. I'm so happy you're here. We got a lot of really nice comments on your sunflower um, that you made. Isn't that isn't that adorable? And how super, super simple. And again, no sewing and no gluing. So that's the kind of bow I like. And I know you guys like it too. So now we're going to go on to... T says hello. Who is that, T? T. Hi, T. You guys are so awesome. I love when you say hello because I love to know who's out there. And I love to get to know you. And, you know, so definitely write to me. Let me know. I had someone share some beautiful pubos that she made with me today. Betty says hello and sharing. Oh, great. Thank you so much, Betty. You said Betty, right? Yeah. Thank you, Betty. I really appreciate you guys that share for me all the time. It means so much. I really appreciate it. So now, uh, I think we're going to use a big bow dabber this time. And we're going to make a fun bow here. And let me take some silver bow dabber bow wire. Fold it in half, cut it. And I'm going to stick this into my bodabra and tuck it underneath. And kind of put that away there. And then I have, um, I'm going to kind of make a bow here. Let me see what order I want to go in. I'm going to put my red in first and my pink. And I love kind of mixing the pinks and the red. And I'm going to make take this one here and put this in there. And then I'm going to take my red and I'm going to just bring this over here. Whoops. And then tuck that down into my bow. And then on top, I'm going to stick this pink here. And put the pink here. And do one more. And then I'm going to just take a smaller piece than I was planning on using and I'm just going to cut this and then I'm just going to scrunch this in and do a little scrunchy bow in the center and take my wand and push everything down. And now I'm going to take my wire. Gigi says hi Sandy. Hi Gigi. Oh. Now what's Gigi's last name? Richard. Oh, Gigi, hi! That's my neighbor, Gigi Richards. And she loves my Bodabra. So now we're gonna separate the ends, bring it around to the back, tie a knot, and tie another knot. And then I can just tie this onto, I would probably tie it onto a clip or a scrunchie, because I think this would be a really pretty ponytail holder. And this here, let's kind of separate everything. And you have a really pretty, super simple little bow. So let me know what you guys think. And again, if you're watching us for the first time, please let me know. And if you haven't downloaded the app, don't forget to download the Bodabra app. It's free in your app store. So now, let's see what else we're gonna make. Oh, a flower, okay. I love doing flowers in the Bodabra. Crystal says so pretty and colorful. Thank you, Crystal. So now, I love that you guys are commenting and letting me know and sharing. It's so cool. And if you haven't already joined our Bodabra fan gallery, please do because I love seeing your creations in the gallery. I'm going to fold my Bodabra um, wire in half and just tuck it underneath. And I'm going to take my, um, my headband and scrunch that down. Then I'm gonna take my tool and, oh, I forgot to measure. Um, so we have about 
say there's about 25 inches of a five, I think this is a five inch wide netting. Ruth asked, will this be available to view later just tuned in? Absolutely, Ruth. We actually, every Sunday, we redo this and post it on our blog. So it's, you, you can definitely watch a replay on Facebook, but you can also go to our blog on Sundays and we will re, um, do it again. So here's how I make my flower. Um, these are gonna be my petals and they are, I'm using a one inch ribbon and I cut, I've already cheated and pre-cut it, but I'm using a five and a half inch piece and then I just cut points for my leaves. So this is my leaf here. I've got another leaf here. And I don't worry that they're not perfect because I don't know that nature makes a perfect flower. They're all perfectly different. <laughs> I guess if that's... So. Oh, I thought you were gonna say something. Um, so anyway, um, again, our, I would definitely please, if you haven't already followed me uh, or followed Bodabra, I think there's a little box at the bottom of your screen. That way, whenever we go live, you'll be warned about it or warned, alerted that we're going live. And on Saturday, on Saturday I'm gonna do a special live from a conference that I'm gonna be at and I would love for you guys to tune in and say hi. I'm not sure exactly what time it's gonna be, but I will put a little post up. But if you follow me, then you'll be alerted to when we go live. So now I'm gonna take my wire, pull it through my slip knot, hold my bow down, put really tight, bring it out, um, separate the ends. Bring it around to the back. Julie Marie says, hi, Sandy. Oh, hi, Julie Marie, how are you? And thank you for sharing. I think you shared for me last week. I really appreciate that. And I hope that you guys will be able to catch me Saturday. So we're actually gonna be doing a course on doing Facebook Lives. <laughs> so that'll be kind of fun. Um, so now I'm just gonna fluff out my move my petals around so you can see them and I mean not my petals my um, leaves and then take my petals and kind of fluff these around and it's so simple now the one trick to doing these is I do use wired ribbon so the wired ribbon helps the flower to shape so it's not simple and pretty so I hope you guys like it. And now we're gonna make a couple more bows. I just love that we can make so many hair bows and headbands in such a quick amount of time. So now I'm gonna put this away and clean up here a little bit. And we're gonna make another cute little, this is sort of a funky fun, I think I'm gonna actually use the big bow dabber for this one. And I need to find some bow dabber bow wire. And I'm gonna fold it in half, cut the ends. Maria says, OMG, super cute. Thank you, Maria. And again, I know I've said this already probably 10 times today, but I really do love when you guys share with me in the Bodabra fan gallery. They were asking if they could have close-ups of them. Could you maybe set a couple Absolutely, out? here you go. Another one. This was that first one we made. And then this cute little, whoops, this other, oh my gosh, we made a lot. <laughs> and then this one here. And then this pretty little ponytail holder. So, I hope you guys are loving it as much as I am. So we're gonna put these all aside. And now I'm gonna just make basically a pinwheel bow here. And I'm going to cross this back over and come back in here. And then take my bottom loop and scrunch that in. And she says, love them all. Top. Thank you, Angie. I actually like them too. I think they came out really pretty. So, and I'm making these different sizes just for fun. 
And then now I'm gonna take my, um, my ribbon here, and this is actually a wide, it's a five inch wide, and I think it's about, um, let's see, 12 inches long, but we fold it in half and then just scrunch it in for a smaller but full scrunchy bow. And push that down. And then I'm gonna lay my beads in here. And I think I'm gonna just go like this and lay them coming down like that. I'm gonna clip these beads right there and take my bow dabra wand, scrunch everything down. I still don't know what I did with my mini wand, but such is life. Now I'm going to bring this up, pull it through my slip knot, pull it tight while it's still in the bodabra, pull it out, separate the ends, bring them around to the back, tie a knot back here, and I would, I would tie this to a ponytail holder, but like a brilliant person, I don't have one right now. So, but I know you guys know, you just take this and tie it through your ponytail holder. Then I'm gonna clip this. And now I'm gonna just shape my bow. And I'm gonna fluff this out here. And then just to top it off, I'm going, I have this, um, it's a foamy, and I'm just gonna the back off. Now, of course you could glue this on if you wanna be totally certain that it's not gonna fall off and you have this cute little ponytail holder. I hope you guys like it. And I cannot believe we are almost finished. Let's make one more really quick hair bow. And again, I get this corker ribbon um, pre-corkered. <laughs> it's pre-curled, so it makes it really easy to, you don't have to take a dowel and curl it around. So if you want the link for where I buy this, just go ahead and write corker ribbon, please, and I'll send you the link. And again, I've said this a million times already, but if you are watching the replay, please say hi and let me know that you're watching the replay. So now I'm gonna fold this in half. Julie says, so adorable. Thank you, Julie, I appreciate that. Oh, whoops, I'm gonna use the mini bodabra for this. Um, so I don't quite need this much wire, but what the heck, I'll just use it. I'm gonna tuck it underneath. And then I have my, um, this ribbon, which is about five inches and one inch wide. And I'm just gonna scrunch that in and I've already dovetailed. Just in case you don't know how I dovetail, you fold it in half and you cut from the fold, whoops, to the corner of your ribbon. And that gives you your nice little tails. So I'm just gonna find the center and scrunch this in. And then I'm gonna take this pretty little organza, which is the same size, and lay that into my bodabra. And then I'm gonna take um, my Bodabra one, because I have any idea what happened to my mini. Scrunch that in there. And then, what, Michael? Oh, yeah, no. And then this here. And then I'm just going to put this little tool in here and lay one more piece of my corker ribbon in there. And I'm going to scrunch it all down again. Scrunch it in there. And take the ends, bring this through my slip knot, hold my bow down while it's still in my mini bow dabra, pull it out, separate the ends, bring it around to the back, tie a knot, whoops, and double knot it. And then I'm going to take my alligator clip. And I'm just going to wrap this around a couple times and bring this one and wrap this around a couple times. And of course, for sit, you know, to really be secure, um, you can um, use a glue gun and glue this down because I think it stays better and, and goes to where you want it better with a um, hot glue gun. 
So then now I'm going to just clip my ends. Oops. And put this over here. And you have this really adorable little hair clip. So there you are. And I cannot believe this half hour has gone by so quickly. So I hope you guys enjoyed all the bows that we made. I think Michael's having fun with this move. We have this stabilizer that we use when we film and sometimes it just decides to have a mind of its own and it'll turn to wherever it feels like turning and we don't even know why. But anyway, I would like to thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. This was so much fun and I hope to see you next Monday at 4 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Mountain, 6 p.m. Central, and 7 p.m. Eastern. And we'll be doing wedding, DIY, worry-free wedding ideas. So see you next week. Bye.